Yes, I suppose when I put up the pro Kamala and Tim videos and the anti-Trump, I'm I'm begging and asking for the haters to come out of the woodwork. It makes it easier to block them if I know who they are. So thank you very much for accommodating me. Because like the video say, if you are a Trump fan, I am not your friend. And I want nothing to do with you. Trump, as we call them around here at Channel 69 News, old Donnie of Demented, not to be confused with Dr. Demento, Dr. or Donnie Dementia, his father suffered from that. His grandfather suffered from that. So it's in the bloodline. And he's displaying... <laughs> Well, let me put it this way. If he was acting, it'd be a, an award type of appearance. But no, he's really losing it. And the indictments are stacking up. There's a new indictment that he tampered with the election. Gee, go figure. And also for January 6th, there's two of them. They're all over the news. And they're not going to postpone the trial for the, or the, they already did the grand jury. So they're not going to postpone that until after the election. No, he's going to go, uh, man, it's the first time in history that a convicted criminal is running for the top office of the country, not only running for the top office, wants to rewrite the entire American Constitution. That Project 2025 and Agenda 47 are no joke. Yes, and the idiots that believe him, he does, they don't believe that he will outlaw ammo in the first 100 days, but he's going to prohibit ammo sales followed by gun sales. There will be a lot of people out of work, but he doesn't want anyone to be able to buy a gun legally to, well, to be a dissent group and gatherings, gatherings like concerts, anywhere where you can speak to a crowd are going to stop. That's straight out of the Iranian handbook for dictators. That's what happened in Iran. I used to work with a number of people at the college who came from Iran. They got out just as it was happening or just right before, but they had family that was still there. And they, they lost all their rights. So all the things that you believe in in America, if he gets elected, which hopefully he won't, will go away. Even the top Republicans that have been lifelong Republicans have jumped over to Kamala's side and won't do, have anything to do with it. Kennedy's sister, since he became Trump's buddy, that guy sounds so much like every heroin junkie or fentanyl junkie that I did counseling on. That, that, that heroin voice, you know. I got nothing against junkies, just they can't come to my house. They steal everything you have. And they're pretty much losers. I don't care if they're in rehab or not, but it's the rare person that was a junkie for a long time that really changes his life around, like Ray Charles, for instance. It can be done, but it's rare. One in, I think it was... 5,000 people do that. The rest go back, or they just live life as an empty shell. But all these guys are way past their expiration date, way past their relevancy date. And uh, Trump seems like he's really losing his brains. <laughs> and, you know, I'm kind of tired of talking about this, but... They keep asking me for more programming. I'm on college television stations and cable networks and YouTube. And thank you for watching. Both Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz for president and vice president. 
save America. Don't let Trump and his idiot goons take it over. It's up to you.